Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit. Welcome back to a brand new episode this week. I'm still currently talking with LD Motorcycles to give away those awesome gloves and that really sick looking jacket. So make sure you've got that bell notification hit and you're following me on Instagram to be the first to hear when that competition drops. So firstly, this clip shows an incident that happened a little while ago in Hendon where a driver was unknowingly followed home and you're about to see what happened next. Luckily, the male in this video was unharmed. He gave up his keys to his Bentley and his watch, and the moped thieves took it and left him. It's interesting to think about your transitional spaces here in somewhere you think and trust is safe. Now, that gate hadn't fully closed. Should his defenses internally have been still raised up until they're sealed shut and he's locked in his front garden? Yes, they should have been, but he was relaxed. And it's something we can all think about in our daily lives to keep ourselves and our personal security better locked down. Now, if you're one of my legit subscribers, you would have seen my video that happened on Westminster Bridge, where I was basically attacked by a group of cyclists, some wearing balaclavas. They tried to steal my GoPro, my keys. It was all very intense. Now, that same situation happened to this cabbie and the outcome was very, very different. Let's hope that fat lumper dump with the man bun at the back of his head gets caught and put behind jail for doing what he did. He was acting disgustingly. He did horrific haymakers that looked like, I don't know, just like a five-year-old trying to punch. Just their group mentality. They're like little hyenas. You single them out. They're literally little girls and they become so passive like when the cabbie grabbed that boy's bike. So let's not get angry about this anymore. Let's move on to the next clip. Let me know what you think about this down below in the comments section. Members of an organised crime group which carried out multiple robberies and moped offences across London have been jailed. The gang of 12 men were sentenced to a total of 67 years and 10 months imprisonment at Kingston Crown Court today, Monday the 13th of May. The convictions came as a result of a 12-month police investigation led by the Met's Trident Proactive team. The court heard how between November 2017 and June 2018, the gang were responsible for 16 offences across the South and West London boroughs. Most offences were committed at night and the defendants rode motorcycles and used vehicles which were either stolen or had their number plates removed. The gang's professional offending meant they left almost no physical evidence behind and usually wore motorcycle helmets in an attempt to avoid identification. The Met launched an investigation named Operation Fieldhouse into the organised crime group, the OCG, 
In February 2018, following an increase in violent moped-enabled robberies across the capital, this included a moped robbery from uniformed officers on Lily Road, Southwest 6 in November 2017. Officers came across the moped, which identified as stolen. Whilst waiting for it to be recovered, the suspects approached the officers, discharged two powered fire extinguishers as a distraction and stole the moped. As a result of several months of meticulous work and surveillance, key members of the organized crime group were identified. A breakdown of the defendants and offenses are as follows. Omar Tafat, 22 years old, of St John Smith Avenue, London, SW6, previously pleaded guilty to attempted theft, going equipped to steal, criminal damage to a police car and breach of a criminal behaviour order. He was also found guilty of two further counts of robbery and possession of an offensive weapon on Friday the 5th of October 2018. Tafat was sentenced to eight years and five months imprisonment. Josh Strong Myers, 20 years old, of Lufus Road W12 previously pleaded guilty to attempted theft, going equipped to steal, criminal damage to a police car, dangerous driving, driving whilst disqualified, possession of an offensive weapon and conspiracy to steal a camera. He was also found guilty of two further counts of robbery and possession of an offensive weapon on Friday the 5th of October 2018. Strong Myers was sentenced to eight years imprisonment. Kian Taylor, 20 years old, of no fixed address, previously pleaded guilty to attempted theft, going equipped to steal, criminal damage to a police car, dangerous driving, driving whilst disqualified, and possession of an offensive weapon. He was also found guilty of robbery at Isleworth Crown Court on Friday the 5th of October 2018, and conspiracy to burgle on Monday the 14th of January 2019. Taylor was sentenced to nine years and four months imprisonment. Stephen Weller, at 36 years old, possibly the oldest in this group, of Green Lawn Lane TWA, previously pleaded guilty to conspiracy to rob and conspiracy to burgle on Thursday the 11th of October 2018. He was sentenced to six years and seven months imprisonment. Terry Marsh, 32, of Vaston Place SW6, previously pleaded guilty to conspiracy to rob, conspiracy to steal, and conspiracy to burgle on the 11th of September 2018, and he was sentenced to 13 years and two months imprisonment. Ryan Moran, 26 years old, of Halsbury Road, SW6, pleaded guilty to conspiracy to steal, conspiracy to burgle, and handling stolen goods on Tuesday the 11th of September 2018. He was handed a 24-month suspended sentence. John McFadden, 24, of Hounslow Road, TW13, previously pleaded guilty to conspiracy to rob on Tuesday, the 11th September 2018. He was sentenced to two years and eight months imprisonment. Isaac McFadden, 19 years old, of Hounslow Road, TW13, previously pleaded guilty to conspiracy to rob on the 11th September 2018. He was sentenced to two years and eight months imprisonment. Mitchell Lever, 25 years old, of Trot Street, SW11 previously pleaded guilty to conspiracy to burgle. He was sentenced to a 12-month suspended sentence. Aaron Pask, 27 years old, of Westway W12, was previously found guilty of conspiracy to burgle and conspiracy to steal on Friday the 4th of January 2019 and conspiracy to steal on the 1st of February 2019. He was sentenced to six years and eight months imprisonment. Scott Lever, 25 years old, of Fraser Street, SC1, was found guilty of conspiracy to burgle on Monday the 7th of January 2019. He was sentenced to four years and eight months imprisonment. The police investigation established that the gang were responsible for the theft of approximately £40,000 worth of stock during two ram raids at the same clothing shop in Kensington High Street. During the first incident on the 31st of December 2017, the group used a stolen Range Rover to break into the store. The defendants stole two high-value coats before abandoning the vehicle and fleeing on motorbikes. The second incident took place on the 30th of January 2018 where three mopeds were rammed into the front of the shop to gain entry at approximately 1.30 in the morning. Four suspects entered the store holding planks of wood which they assaulted the security guard with. As the gang members stole items of clothing, the security guard managed to escape and find safety in a nearby taxi where the police were alerted. The offenders made off with a number of clothing items. The gang were also responsible for the attempted theft of a media camera that was fixed to Putney Bridge on Thursday the 22nd of March 2018 to film the Oxford vs Cambridge boat race. 
The suspects attended on mopeds and attempted to remove the camera using an angle grinder but were unsuccessful. They proceeded to ride to Lonsdale Road SW15 where they stole a high value video camera from a scaffolding platform. This camera has never been recovered. At approximately 3.15 on the 7th of May 2018, Tafat, Taylor, Strong Myers were all involved in an attempted knife point moped robbery on Dolphin Street in Kingston. A police helicopter identified the suspects riding two mopeds in the area and an immediate police pursuit began with police vehicles on the ground. During the pursuit, both suspect mopeds exceeded the speed limit, ignored red light traffic signals and rode through parks including Shepherd's Bush Green and other pedestrianised areas. The three men were detained and arrested in Ealing by police following a 90 minute pursuit which ran through 10 London boroughs. Officers discovered a hammer, screwdriver, angle grinder and a large knife underneath the seat cover of one of the mopeds. The gang's final offence involved an attempted robbery in the Sandpits Road TW10 on Thursday the 21st of June 2018, which was widely circulated on social media. The incident involved four suspects who made their way on motorbikes to Stutton Lane, Kingston, where they stole number plates from a parked vehicle. Both motorbikes then made their way to Sandpits Road TW10 where two pillion passengers got off the bikes and approached a female victim who was walking hand in hand with her three-year-old son. They demanded jewellery whilst threatening to harm the boy if she didn't comply. The victim however grabbed her child and ran backwards into traffic in an attempt to escape. At this point the occupants of a lorry exited the vehicle and chased the suspects away. The suspects for this offence were later identified as Marsh, Weller, Pask, Isaac McFadden and Moran were arrested as a result. Officers seized pieces of clothing linking them to a number of offences, mobile phones and approximately £6,000 in cash and an imitation firearm. Detective Inspector Andy Durham who led the investigation said Operation Fieldhouse was a painstaking investigation which sought to apprehend the violent moped criminals. Following months of hard work and dedication carried out by my officers, the OCG responsible for a series of dangerous offences across London has been brought to justice. They terrified their victims during a number of calculated and violent ordeals and will now spend a significant amount of time behind bars. In addition to the pain and distress they caused so many innocent people over the past two years, the cost of their crime spree is estimated to be approximately half a million pounds. I hope today's sentencing highlights the criminality of this kind will not be tolerated in London. We will continue to tirelessly work around the clock to apprehend those involved in these type of offences and bring them before the courts. What do you guys think? Do you think these sentences were light? Do you think they were spot on? I actually quite agree with some of these, these sentences. They seem pretty good. I mean, this group, this OCG was pretty strong and they, it feels like they got given what they deserve. What do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below. If you want to see the full video of the moped thieves being chased, check out the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, you've been awesome. I've been legit. I'll see you in the next one.